Hey everyone, Danny Webster here from Pocketnow.com, and this is another episode of the Android Application Weekly in which we review five applications in 30 seconds each. So let's get started. This application is called Evernote and it is free on the Android market. What it allows you to do is to save pictures, files, text notes, and audio notes directly to your free Evernote account. So if I want, I can view my previous notes just by going to the menu button and view notes. And now you can see all of the other notes that I've saved in the past with my Evernote account. So I can go back and let's say I wanted to upload a note. All I have to do is click on text note, type my note, save it to whichever folder I want, and then save. Got to do is a free task managing application available on the Android market that has many different categories that you can add certain tasks to. So let's say I wanted to add something to someday, and all I have to do is click here and add. We're going to say go to Europe and hit OK. And now I can set the priority if I want and set the time and add a note. And all I have to do is go back and go back again. And now my task is saved in my inbox so I can view all my other tasks here. Let's say I went to the vet yesterday, so I can click on there, that one's complete. I picked up some milk, I still need to pick up my costume. Seasmic is a free Twitter and Google Buzz application available on the Android market. It allows you to view all of your current uh, Twitter feeds, of course, and you can also get Google Buzz information in your proximity to your location. So let's say I wanted to view my replies, I can go here. I can also view my personal messages and view my profile and I can go back to my timeline, I can do all the great Twitter stuff I need to do. I can reply, retweet, or direct message reply. So I can just go back and view the rest of my feeds on the Twitter timeline. Winamp is a free music player available on the Android market. In my opinion, I think it's a little bit better than the Google Music application that comes standard on most Android devices. You can get your artists, albums, songs, all these great features to search through your songs. And you can also get history so you can view these songs and listen to the ones that you previously listened to. So let's say I wanted to uh, look for a song, I'll just go to Albums, and I have one song right here that I can play it, and play that, and the song plays rather well through the speakers or through the wired headset. XDA Developers is a free application available on the Android market, and this application ties directly into the XDA Developers website and forum, so you can view your the latest posts, and if you have an XDA account, you can sign in and view your private messages as well as go to forum searches. Let's say I wanted to find Android software development. Click on there, it logs into the server, and I can view all these various topics, stickies, announcements, and all that other great stuff that's available on the XDA developers website. So this has been another episode of the Android Application Weekly, and if you like our videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up and also leave some comments down below. And to get the download links, just follow the link in the description to get the QR code so you can download those directly to your Android device. Thanks for watching.